Hey, good morning everybody. Today is Thursday, December 20th. My name is Morty and welcome to today's read. So today I was going to do a daily dose love read. So this will be, <coughs> excuse me, this will be a, a read for the collective in general. It's not a private read. So if you're already in a relationship and you're happy, this read probably isn't for you. This read would be for those that are seeking love, right? Um, yeah, I'm happy to have you uh, enjoy uh, participating in this read with me. And I love my morning coffee. It's one of my highlights, right, at the beginning of the day. So on this uh, read today, I just want to uh, begin the read by pulling an affirmation card, like I typically do. I just want to see what affirmation somebody has taking them into the read. Um, and this isn't a specific sign read, so this read applies to all signs. Um, and, and again, it's for those that are seeking love. This read won't be for everybody, but it will be for somebody. So, just keep that in mind. And we just want to see what the affirmation is for somebody taking them into the read today. Okay, good affirmation. Help. I love the colorings in this card too. Um, it's just a, yeah, it's a great shade of light blue. Uh, Mother Earth sweet, Mother Earth bright, bring to me your help and might. Mother Earth sweet, Mother Earth bright, bring to me your help and might. Mother Earth sweet, Mother Earth bright, bring to me your help and might. You guys know I say it three times because there's real powerful manifestation power in the number three. Um, so yeah, what this uh, what this affirmation reminds me of is it's not just um, it's not just about physical health, although that's part of it. Um, this is uh, this is about health and balance overall in mind, body, and spirit. Right. Um, so somebody out there is calling out to the universe um, to bring them maybe back into balance, back into good health with mind, body, and spirit. It's a good affirmation. I'm kind of interested to see how it fits into today's love read. Um, I'm going to use uh, my Crystal Vision tarot set to do today's read. And these decks are pre-shuffled, but I just like to shuffle them one more time. And first thing I want to do is just cut the deck three times. I pull the bottom card from the deck to see what the opening energy is taking us into the read. Okay. So we have the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords. This is a pretty graphic picture. Um, so the figure in, the, uh, yeah, the image on the card here lays down in the ground and has these ten swords impaled into her back. Um, it's a little bit of a gruesome scene. Um, if you look up in the sky, though, the clouds are parting, and it's, and it's starting to lighten up. So this is um, this represents completion, right? So something in somebody's life um, coming to an end. And we just want to see what else somebody out there needs to know. Okay, we have the Page of Swords. So um, this can be uh, this can, this can represent news coming into you, right? Um, it could be news coming into you from an air sign, which would be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Um, where it sorts, it can be kind of, you know, some forceful news, um, the way it's coming in. The other thing that this could represent for somebody out there is this could represent, um, you may have a new idea, a new way of thinking and believing coming into you. A new way of looking at things. Yeah. 
you have eight of swords. So this is the energy of um, uh, choosing. Um, you know, if you look at the figure here in the card, you know, she has these swords that around her, right? And she's tied up. Um, and she has this blindfold covering her eyes. She could break herself free at any time. But she's choosing um, to kind of stay in this energy. Um, so that's what that represents. So for somebody out there, you, you know, you may recognize this energy that, and just realize that, you know, it's, you could free yourself from this energy at any time. You just have to remove the blindfold, loosen up those, those ribbons, those ropes, and step out of this. It could be a pretty limiting energy. I know three cards so far, so three swords. Okay, we have the Three of Cups. This is the card of celebration. This energy represents people getting together um, and enjoying one another's company, right? Being of good cheer. This is celebrating. This is a great energy. And then you have the Sun card. This is fantastic energy for somebody. Um, this is also the card of Leo. So if you look at the figure here in the card, you know, she stands in a, in a, in a garden of sunflowers, um, and she's holding her baby, and she has the warmth of the sun beating on their back, and she's standing there with her beautiful white horse. This is the energy of, of experiencing and living life with childlike enthusiasm, right? Most of us may remember what that was like as a child, right? When just the whole world is, is in front of you, and it's not like you're getting stuck in your head and you're cocky or anything like that, but... There just aren't limitations, right? This is that kind of energy. It's what it represents. Some people say that this is the best card in the entire deck. All right, so tell us more. We have the Four of Swords. This is the energy that represents rest and recuperating. That's coming in next to the sun card. So on these reads, when the cards fall, I hold them up and I kind of tell you what each card means. And then once I lay the cards all out, then I can kind of put together the read and read it for you. So that's kind of the style that I use. Hopefully it resonates well with you guys. Um, I like it because I think it gives you the opportunity to better familiarize yourself with each one of the card's meanings. I mean, my goal in this read overall is to be able to, you know, hopefully some of these energies resonate with some of you guys out there. And... Um, they're just energies that are before us, right? So my job is I want to just point out what positive energies are resonating ahead of you and also point out which limiting energies are resonating ahead of you. <clears throat> Maybe be able to share some insight on how you can better attract those positive energies um, and how you can steer clear of uh, some of those limiting negative energies. Okay, we have the Three of Wands. And this is coming in under the Page of Swords, right? So this news that's coming to, to somebody out there, um, it may involve um, affecting your course of direction, right? Wherever, where, wherever it is you're, you, you, know, you feel you're, you're headed in life. If you look at the figure in the card, she sits on top of this hill and she has her crystal ball in front of her. And she's looking out over the valley and she's seeing exactly what lies ahead for her, right? So she's kind of mapping out her plan. So some of you may be looking at taking on an, a new beginning, a new adventure of some sort, um, especially with the Ten of Swords coming out as the opening energy in the read that represents completion, something coming to an end. So it may be whatever this is coming to an end that's allowing somebody to take on this adventurous energy. You have the Wheel of Fortune. 
And this is coming in under the Eight of Swords. <clears throat> so the Wheel of Fortune, if you look at the card here, you have the 12 different zodiacs represented here. And then you have Earth, Air, Fire, and Water represented. Um, this represents the universe stepping in um, to bring change into your life, right? So this symbolizes that, that there's change coming. And notice it's called the Will of Fortune, not the Will of Disfortune. So I think that this change, for many of you, is going to be a very positive change. It's going to be very beneficial for you. But where it's coming in under the Eight of Swords, it's pointing out that for many of you, you are the only ones that are preventing this change from coming in because of this self-limiting energy that you've kind of taken on for yourself. Too many cards. I would figure, you know, when too many cards fall, if they're meant to fall, they'll fall again. All right, tell us more. Tell us more. Okay, we have the Four of Pentacles. And this is coming in under the Three of Cups. Right? So the Four of Pentacles, this represents the energy. If you look at the nymph here in the tree, she has these Four Pentacles, and she's clinging to them with her arms and her legs. Kind of using all of her might, hanging on to them tightly. This represents the energy of maybe we're hanging on to certain things too tightly in our life, right? So for somebody out there, there's something or somebody in your life that you're hanging on too tightly to. Um, it represents something earthly, something material. Something here in the 3D that we're hanging on to. And whatever it is that somebody's hanging on too tightly, it's preventing you from being able to feel and experience this Three of Cups energy, right? This energy of celebrating. Um, so, I mean, the cards, what the, what the cards are encouraging you to, to do is to let up on whatever it is that you're hanging on too tightly to in life, right? To just free yourself of that. It's taking away your power. And in doing so, you'll open up the door to bring joy and happiness and good times in your life. Good times shared with others. You have the Two of Swords. And this is coming in under the Sun card, the card of Leo. So the Two of Swords, um, this represents needing to make a decision. Um, so the figure here stands here with, with these two swords pointing in different directions. And she wears this blindfold. Um, I think in many cases, you know, I see this. You have the, these crows up here flying. And then I look at this white bird down here, right? This dove. And I don't know. Recognize that kind of tells me that, you know, maybe the person in this, in this energy, that they know what decision they need to make. They know which which decision is the correct decision. They've just, um, for whatever reason, they just you just haven't made that decision yet. Um, and if I look at the swords here, right, this sword is just kind of sticking out like that. This sword is lighting up in the sky, so it kind of lets me know that there's one decision that makes a lot more sense than the other decision for you, right? Um, and I think whoever this read is for, I think, I think you already know what decision you need to make. It's just a matter of making it for yourself in order for you to take on and experience this energy, this childlike, enthusiastic energy. We have the Page of Cups. So the Page of Cups, this represents news of some sort um, probably coming into you right um, it's news of, of or it's cups it represents emotion water love so <clears throat> this is news coming into to somebody out there 
um, some kind of loving message. All right, tell us more. Tell us more. Okay, we have the Justice card as the closing energy, taking us out of the read. So the Justice card, um, this is also the card of Libra. Justice represents just that very thing, right? So this is justice stepping in to correct any wrongs that have, uh, that have taken place. Um, justice comes in and balances the skills. So this is a, this is a good energy and it's the, it's the closing energy for somebody taking them out of the read. So give me just a, just a minute here to take a look at these cards and, um, just kind of see what I see and then I can share that with you. And then if I need to get, you know, further clarification in any areas, I can pull up some other cards and get clarification. So yeah, um, you know, for somebody out there, you're coming to completion with something in your life. And this completion is bringing in news to you of taking on some kind of new adventure for yourself, right? Um, but it's fun, it's exciting. But you have to realize that you're the only person restricting yourself right now, right? You're holding yourself back from being able to obtain and achieve your potential. from being able to take on and accept this new change that's coming into your life. If you can learn to not hang on so tightly, right, to some of these material things in our life, you know, so just step back and ask yourself honestly, what is it in life that I'm that I'm just hanging on to too tightly, right? There's just no room for negotiation or anything like that. And step away from that energy. And in doing so, you allow yourself to take on the energy of the Three of Cups, which is a joyous, celebrating kind of energy. And it's an energy that's shared with other people. This is encouraging you to make, go ahead and make whatever decision it is you need to make for yourself in life, right? Make this decision and allow yourself to take on this energy of the sun, this energy of living life with childlike enthusiasm. You know, I think for a lot of you, especially at this time of year, you may be going through a period of resting and recuperating in some way, shape, or form of, you know, kind of stepping back from the world and, and some of the outside influ influences that we have around us um, and taking some time for yourself. There is news coming into somebody and it's loving news. It's a loving message. And whatever is coming into somebody's atmosphere, it's bringing with it the scales of justice, right? So, you know, if, um, for whoever this read is for, if you've been, uh, you know, if, if you've been investing your energy um, in areas that just, you know, hasn't been well spent, um, or maybe you've just been, I don't know, maybe you've been in a karmic situation, you know, in maybe some way, shape, or form paying off a karmic debt, um, this justice card is coming in to balance those skills. Okay. Um, this is today's read for December 20th. Um, I don't know. I mean, I could get a little further clarification in a couple areas. Um, you know, let's ask about this will of fortune. 
Let's find out a little bit more about that. Tell me more about the Wheel of Fortune. What does this Wheel of Fortune represent? Six of Wands. This is the card of victory, right? This is triumph. If you look at the figure here, he stands on this, it's almost like a rock pedestal, right? It kind of reminds me of the Olympics, you know? Um, and he stands here pretty boldly. And he holds, holds his crystal ball in one hand and he holds his staff or his wand in the other. He stands next to his lion, symbolizing strength and power. You know, so whatever this change is that's, that's coming in for some of you out there, um, this change is going to bring you that energy of feeling victorious, right? feeling triumphant. It's a great energy. So whoever this tree is for, whatever change you have coming into your life, this is a great change for you. Welcome it. Um, I want to ask... Uh, I want to ask about this Two of Swords. Tell me more about the Two of Swords. Further clarification on the Two of Swords. Okay, so you have the Judgment card. This card is of Sagittarius. Um, judgment represents just that. <clears throat> so this can represent the energy of judging other people, um, other people judging us, um, also judging ourselves. And, you know, where this is coming in on the Two of Swords, um, I don't know, I think that, you know, what it kind of tells me is, so what may be holding somebody back from making this decision, right? This Two of Swords is the judgment that would come along with it. Um, but you have to remember that, you know, judgment is just that, it goes away. It doesn't make it right. Um, but if it's, you know, if this is self-judgment for somebody, we need to allow that self-judgment to pass, and we can't associate self-judgment to this Two of Swords and allow it to prevent us from making this decision. So, don't worry about judgment. Judgment ends when you make the decision. All right. So this is your uh, this is your daily read for somebody out there. Again, this read won't be for everybody, but it will be for somebody. My name's Morty. Thank you very much for participating in this read with me. Um, I've enjoyed having all of you guys. Thank you again for all the comments, the likes, subscribes, and shares. You guys are the best. Thank you. Um, have a great day. Enjoy your week. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas.